because all the items are taped, you don't have to worry about things falling out. I'm just going to move it. This is our cello. And then I have the string that when I wrap the cello up around the, this is a piece of curly ribbon. I'm just going to bring all the things up and tie it off with that. And then that'll make it easier for me when I put my bow on. Now I brought the basket back over and I have my curly ribbon nearby. Now make sure that your basket is in the middle of your, your cello. So when you bring your, the cello around it, it's going to be equal. Okay. And now turn your basket catty corner. So I don't know if you can see it's the square this way that I've turned my basket. Bring your points up and hold it. And then bring these points up, like making sure that your sides are up here. Okay, so bring your points up. Put the cello right up against the basket and hold it. Get your other point. Put it right up against the basket and hold it. Now you've got these hanging down, okay? Now you want to bring those up and sort of watch what you're doing. Just pulling it up and holding on to it. Try to keep all the cello in the center of the top of the basket. Keeping everything straight up in the air. Now take your curly ribbon, and just bring it around. I pick it up with my little pinky here, right there. And I bring it around. Okay, and I hold that. I hold everything so I sort of lean against it to keep it all tight. And there you go. That'll just hold it while you're putting your your other your main ribbon on. And you won't even really see that. So now I'm going to take my bow and the front of the basket. And now on these bows, I have, a, I have a video to show you how to make these bows. And I always tie the bow together with another ribbon that I can tie in the back of my basket. So I'll just put it on like that. Pull it real tight, and I always tie a bow, not a knot, on everything. Even that last, that first piece I put on the curly ribbon, I tied a bow. It makes it easier for people to undo them, and then they can keep them. Use it for something else. Okay, so if I turn it around, you'll see one side of, the, of that is a little longer, so I'll just go ahead and, and cut that so it's the same. You can just go ahead and leave the, that piece of curly ribbon. You can curl it so it looks nice. There. Turn it back around and fix up your bow. You strain it out and you have it. This, this piece of cello was so nice that sometimes I like to cut it a little bit at the very top, but as you see here, it really doesn't need it. It's a perfect height for this basket. So 
So there you go. There's your Easter basket. Have a wonderful holiday. And I'll see you again soon.